Blink is sort of an evolution of our ways of monitoring patients while they're at home. The primary purpose of the link is to watch heart rhythms on these patients that we're concerned about, whether it be for syncope, passing out, or for fast heart rhythms. It's our way of being able to diagnose these things um, by implanting something that's going to watch all of their heartbeats 24 hours a day for, in this particular case, up to three years. It'll give us an alert if there's anything bad every, every single day, and then every 30 days it gives us a complete report of what the patient's been doing heart rate-wise. If you've seen the previous um, iterations, they were much larger, probably about 80% bigger than they are today. And so patients always balk just a little bit when they saw the size, because if you think about putting that thing right underneath your skin, it's, it's basically putting a jump drive underneath your skin. These newer devices look more like a fuse, I guess. And uh, so patient uh, comfort is an issue. Uh, also where we put them in. You know, the old procedures were done in the electrophysiology lab in basically an operating room setting. These current ones we can do in the patient room in the hospital and eventually in the office. So a patient could come in, talk about their complaints. We might say, okay, you're a good candidate for one of these long-term monitors. Let me go get it put it in and off they go. So they don't need to have not eaten for X number of hours beforehand. They don't get any sedation with the procedure. They can get up right after and walk on home, you know, so it's not, it's not as big of a deal for them. The older devices required a landline. So if a patient did not have a landline, it was a real problem for us to be able to communicate with the device. This device has its own cellular platform. So pretty much wherever you go, if there's a cellular uh, network or a tower around, it can transmit information back to us. That's why they call it the link, the link between the patient and the doctor.